TB Photo X1.5 JFX and welcome back to another video. Well, yet again, now it's Mamiya time again and this time it's the 645 Pro that I've gotten a little new toy for. Well, it's what is in this package here that got, I got in the mail today. It's uh, for this camera and it's the six, Mamiya 645 Pro Polaroid Land Pack Film Holder HP 401. Well, <clears throat> a little bit of a backstory before we go into uh, unboxing this. Uh, as many of you might know, uh, we have today a lot of very good quality medium format film cameras on the market. Uh, this being one of them, the 645 series from Mamiya. But when you, we go way back in time, we see that a lot of great photographers uh, used Polaroid pack film uh, to do a preview of their photographs. Uh, for instance, today we're, with DSLRs and other digital uh, types of cameras, we can always do what is affectionately known as chimping, which is when we look at the back of the camera on the digital screen and we can get the histogram uh, and all of it to see that we have a correct exposure. But back in the day that wasn't really, you know, a thing that could be utilized. So what did they do instead? Well, they used Polaroid pack film to do a preview. But it has also been used a lot to, you know, take snapshots uh, in general because pack film gives a very unique type of style. But why am I ranting about, about pack film when we know that about half a year ago, six months ago, Fujifilm, which was the last manufacturer in the world to produce pack film, they packed it in, so to speak, and they said that we're not going to make this anymore. Well, the thing is, <clears throat> a little bit, one of the reasons why I got this so cheaply, I got this free international shipping from Japan, and I didn't even have to pay import tax for it. I got this for 215 Swedish kroner on eBay. And that equates to about 23 US dollars or 21 euros or 18 British pounds. So it was a bargain, a real bargain. But well, it's just a paperweight if you don't have any film that can be utilized with this. But that's the entire thing. Uh, after Polaroid shut down their film production, when Polar the original Polaroid went bankrupt in the early 21st century, uh, a group bought the factory and renamed it The Impossible Project. So, yeah, The Impossible Project still makes Polaroid film, but unfortunately they couldn't really, they didn't have the facilities to produce uh, produce the 100 pack film that this film back uses and also it's also a 100 pack film that the you know the traditional Polaroid LAN cameras use well the thing is impossible project they make 600 film uh, I have a 600 camera that I might have in a future video and you might have seen it in my earlier work but anyway, <clears throat> the pack film, the only one that used it, that produced it up until this year was Fuji and it was named the FP100C and was made, it was made in a couple of varieties. But anyway, <clears throat> if you look at Mujanju's channel here on YouTube, he did a uh, uh, interview with a guy named Florian who works for the Impossible Project and he, he told Majanju that Impossible had been in talks with Fujifilm uh, about, you know, bringing back Pacfilm. So it, it's uh, apparently that didn't uh, adhere to anything concrete, uh, and uh, everything became, you know, a little bit free floating. But it's so strange for a company like. Uh, Fujifilm to you know cease production of a classic film when 
it is universally known in the world today that you have Lomography, you have Holga, you have people who start to be real Hasselblad, old school Hasselblad enthusiasts. I mean, it's everybody from, uh, you know, uh, just search on YouTube about Hasselblad 500 or the Hasselblad V series of cameras and you will see everything and everyone in photography being interested in it. So you have, you know, just a few cameras that, can, that utilized 100 pack film. Hasselblad, as stated before, Holga had, you know, Polaroid backs on the Holga 120 camera. You could actually use Polaroid 100 pack film on those. Mami, as you have here an example on. Pentax had Polaroid backs. Rolleiflexes had Polaroid backs. So these cameras that were once extremely expensive that, you know, you basically had to do a second mortgage on your house to get a hold of, they are quite affordable today, but they are still having tremendous quality glass, you know, lenses that are tremendous quality. But still, uh, you have this problem then that 100 roll film, yeah, you have to develop it and so on, but imagine, and the land cameras and Polaroid cameras were you know, universally known to have very low quality lenses, but that's a bit of the charm. But when you have things like Mamiya C-Core lenses or Hasselblad cameras that uh, utilize Carl Zeiss lenses and the list goes on, it is insane that you can't use an instant film with these brilliant film cameras. But all is not lost because when I was looking around about pack film and so on, it turns out that Cat Labs from Boston, Massachusetts, they have started, you know, their blog. There is a link in the description. But they have actually done a blog about that they will start make pack film. And I'm really psyched about that because I want to use. I want to be able to take some, you know, instant film with this, but anyway, so we have Cat Labs and we have Impossible Project and so on that wants this to still be around and there is a huge fan base uh, among YouTubers. I'll have some links in the description about both people who shoot medium formats and people who love Polaroids, but this was from Japan. So it's an import. And of course, Japanese efficiency, best in the world in my opinion. And they're very great, you know, when you get things like the original receipts, uh, the original, you know, I can't read Japanese, but I mean, when you have all of these original, uh, original paperwork with it, the original manual, and, you know, back then, there were proper, you know, manuals. It wasn't those, you know, phone books with a lot of disclaimers. These were to the point and what is what. So it shows on the back here how to, you know, what type of films you could use on it, and uh, what, what does it say here, Polaroid, 669 silk you know so you'll see here so it's beautiful these were you know beautiful paperwork with this camera and original bubble wrap and so on and here you have it this is the original Polaroid film bag even has the you know Polaroid name brand here dark slide you set your eyes so up your ISO up here and it goes from what is it 25 to uh, 6400 ISO and uh, you know you're supposed to open it like this and instructions in here how to put in the pack film you know modified in Japan Polaroid land camera back uh, Polaroid register trademark 
you know, made in the Netherlands. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's Polaroid film that was made in the Netherlands. But anyway, in order to use this Polaroid back with this camera, I have to do a little bit of remodeling. So I have this, uh, you know, strap lug here. It's a little bit tricky to remove. I think I have to remove the film back first to get a little bit better purchase on this. Yeah, there we go. So you see here now, it's just... There you go. And I can... Either you can put the hand crank on it, or you can put on the the grip. So, this is the little trap door where you would pull out the film when it was uh, ready, but anyway, now, now when this is interfaced with the camera body, you can remove the dark slide, and there is a compartment in the back of the film back for this and now I can't remove the... I can't remove... this is now locked in place on the camera so that the instant film wouldn't be accidentally, uh, you know, accident, accidentally exposed. But this now works completely and it, it will still meter. So that's another thing with this. This camera can actually now use instant pack film with aperture priority. So I can put I have now the 80mm f2.8 on it, so I can basically, if I want, if I had film for this, I could basically take a aperture, a picture in aperture priority. There we go. There's a little bit of special, it's almost like an enter key on this, you have to pull it back and then to the side in order to release it. But, that's it. Uh, before I'm gonna put the... But, now I want to hear a bit from you, dear viewers. What are your, what are your thoughts about uh, Fuji discontinuing pack film? I think it's a crying shame that, you know, such a, such a classic film medium is uh, you know no more. I know that Fuji has their own smaller line of you know of instant film cameras and so on, but I think they're a little bit too toyish. I mean there are you know Hello Kitty versions and so on, but this is more something real, something substantial, and that you can use these wonderful brilliant uh, medium format cameras and yes you might have to crop a little bit because this is still a a, a six times 4.5 centimeter uh, negative so you will still have a little bit of a crop factor on a complete pack film but it's still and now you see the dark slide is uh, locked again so you can't you can't remove it to accidentally expose the film. But this is the thing. I think that pack film is something that should be saved because there is so many people out there, I know of it, that are pack film enthusiasts and who really enjoy Polaroid and uh, we have to take, you know, just take our hats off to the impossible project because they really pulled up off the impossible and I know that the impossible project they're named that because uh, it's impossible to do Polaroid authentic Polaroid instant film nowadays because the chemicals that were used to make the original Polaroid they're not manufactured anymore so but they've done the best they can and I think they have some new uh, variants new products in the pipeline so they're not they're not finished with what they are doing and just just hats off to them so anyway now I'd like to hear from you dear viewers do you think that 
pack film has a future? And if so, just drop a comment in the, the comment section below. And anyway, this is Tobias Bergstrom from TB Photo X1.5 to FX, and I would like to see you guys in the next video. Take care for now.